Hi Lisa here. In this blog I will be talking about Family Tree Maker 2017 and the Sources workspace. So let's go to Family Tree Maker. So we're in Family Tree Maker and let's just go to the Sources workspace. And this is what it looks like once you get to the Sources workspace. And you will see that you have your source groups for your sources and how they can be sorted. You can sort by all source annotations, which sources it will look like this. Now I usually keep it by source title, as this is the way that I like to look at my sources when I come in. But you can also change by repository, so how you got them, which is Ancestry or Facebook. And by person, should you want to see what sources are associated with a specific person in Family Tree Maker. Now, I like to, again, look at it by source title. Um, and so, over here you can see all the different sources and it changes when I click on it. And in the middle you'll see the source citation. And below you will see information about the source. And the link will show which person and facts that particular source is noted to, I mean linked to, and if you go over to the notes you will see that I have information in the notes. And this information is the information that you get about the source online. I just copy it and put it there so that I have it for my reference and that's included in the description about the source because it tells you what kind of questions and stuff they asked in the census. And then for media, it will show you a picture of the source. And when I click on it, it will pull it up. But I could also have just went to the media area to see the image of the source as well. And again, over here you can see the, the notes versus the detailed information I've put in. And then on the right is your source citation information on how you create your source. And you can, you know, edit, click to edit the source and add in information, choose a source template to put in your information and then your source text which I've put in the name of the person that it is credited to because I have it twice and then the other one's for William so and then this one's for Ira and then down below you could put in the web address and then your reference note and then there's boxes that you could check mark if you want it to be included in the reference note or not. And that is your source. Your source workspace. Thank you for joining me on this blog.